Matthew 9.21 Elegan gar in haote eon manon hopsomai tu himatiu autu sothesomai. Remember that right before this we read that the woman with the hemorrhage for 12 years has come up behind Jesus and touched him. And we get this explanatory statement here. For she was saying, notice the imperfect there, there's our augment and there's our imperfect ending. For she was saying in herself or to herself, if, uh, 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 we know the subjunctive is going to follow that at on, and there's a lengthened vowel, a sigma has combined. This ending here is the middle ending. This is an aorist middle subjunctive, first person singular. If only I touch, this is, of course, we saw this in the previous verse, hoptomai means to touch, and this is a word that's followed by a genitive object or a genitive complement, so we're expecting a genitive, and there it is right there. If only I touch the garment of him, if only I touch his garment, I will be healed or I will be saved. Some debate as to whether we should translate that as saved or healed if Matthew wants us to perhaps understand a, a dual meaning, a soteriological significance here. I think the most natural way to under, understand it, to translate it, is with healed, the verb sozo. This word sozo frequently does refer to physical healing in the Gospels, and, and it, at least on the surface level, that's the most uh, immediate meaning, right? The woman wants to touch Jesus so that she will be healed from this flow of blood for 12 years. Now, when we look at this form up here, so thesemi, what do you see? Yes, you see a theta, and it makes you think of somebody kicking back, feeling very passive in their recliner or their easy chair. There is no augment, so it's not heiress passive. It's a future passive, future passive indicative, and that's just a first-person singular ending. I will be saved, or within the context here, I will be healed.